Hello. Oh my. I have to, I have to still fix this chat thing. I forgot about it. I think I can just do this. Did I? Oh no. There we go. Hello. Nice. Are you having a nice Friday? The weekend just began, you know. So. This is like the, the chill stream. There, there is a little plan, which is gonna be like to play a bit with a new chemistry system, which I've not been very acquainted with. I tried it once, I broke everything, and I said, ah, I need time for this. And what better time to do it when there is no pressure to do anything because this is chill time now. So, I have to... Oh! Okay. So, I need to do screen sharing again. Let's hope it goes a bit better this time. I've added a bit of variety to the music, so it shouldn't be the same track looping over and over. Now it's like four tracks. Hopefully that, that gets better. So, oh, the music is gone. Boo. I mean, do we want the music? I'll try re-adding it. If it goes bad, we can get rid of it. The, the game itself doesn't have music. So it would be pretty quiet otherwise. But let's at least go back to the new, new tracks. So I will share my entire screen because there's this is not a game that works with game capture. It's multiple windows. It's kind of weird. There's also a mini browser I need to use.
And uh, now it's taking over everything. Uh, fit the screen. And actually, I, I think I can just put it below everything. I uh, don't know if you can read yourself very well. And maybe do this. And do. I don't know. I should like prepare a fading to black thingy. They should be fine. So I am. Um, before I go with the new chemistry, since uh, I figure not many of you would know how current, uh, I mean, how the old way worked, which is the one I know. Um, let me show you how the old system works. So I have a really old build. Yeah, what the game is. Look at the game. I mean, it, it's gotten some bit popularity after a certain uh, warlord made a video about it. So, compile and host. It's gonna take a small while. I thought I had a compiled build, but maybe I was wrong. Not gonna take much though, hopefully. But so I can talk a bit about the game. The game is um, it's a multiplayer game, which I'm gonna play with a local server because, well, well, the game is kind of meant to be play with people. Uh, there, there are systems which are so very. Wait a second. <laughs> Let me turn this off a little bit. I need to get get used to the, to, the, to looking in front. Okay, as I was saying. Um. So, while the game is meant to be played with people, the, um, everyone has a job. Oh my. They changed the things again. Uh, let's see if I can still get away with it. I can definitely start the, the old build. So as I was saying, yes, everyone has a job and make doing the job is not easy necessarily. Uh, everything from surgery to setting up an energy source is very complex and very in depth and it's kind of its own game, its own right. And I think that's, that's very cool. It means even if you're not the social person, you can still like uh, have your own little things to do. And everything can go wrong and it's generally fine which is why i shouldn't be doing this the way i i, I should be meant to to learn this new chemistry is to go on a server play with people mess up get said bad things because i i'm bad at my job which i technically like a a professional role playing as but you know everyone's bad at, at everything so it's pretty okay Okay. Toasting. But th this is like one, I, I I like messing around locally. And two, uh, I messed up so bad last time that I don't really want to uh, have to do it there. So there is a bit of music right now, but I can just say... Wait, let me check. So I have a character that I have to make. I want to make it the captain, because the captain is like the big boss that does everything. Uh, I don't care the gender. Leave it like that, let's leave everything randomized. I don't want the duffel bag, I want to use a backpack. Because the duffel bag is like a super, like th this game has like multiple bags you can use for the inventory. And like uh, the big duffel bag can take a lot of stuff, but it slows you down, and I can see everything here, it's not just looks, uh, I have a jump skirt, I can change to a jump suit, and the jump skirt looks nice, because skirts are comfy, but it makes uh, my legs a bit exposed, so I'm actually taking a bit more damage, I mean, I don't care right now, because I'm on a local server, but it, 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 it goes very much in depth. So I am the captain, uh, so usually the game waits for a bit for people to join in. Since I'm the only one here, I can just click start now and as soon as everything is loaded, 
I will spawn. Why did they spawn here? Normally, when you uh, queue, you spawn in your office. But for some reason, I am spawn. Something has gone really wrong. I am dying because there is off the station is missing. Maybe I do need to recompile the game. But yeah, I'm dying. Off the station is missing. The oxygen is gone. There is no pressure, which makes my body not like go boom. I'm in critical condition, which means I am dying right now. And apparently I, that's probably why I don't have an office in where to spawn. So yeah, great start. Uh, let's actually rebuild the game. Something has gone really wrong. So I did say to use build bot. Oh, what's it doing? Well, it's, it's not the... I, I did spawn on a shuttle, which was really, really safe. I just had the misfortune of going outside the shuttle. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... I might be the captain, but I only live off site. Uh, it, it's doing stuff. I guess it's because they, they they rebuilt the UI in React, and now they require people to build it. Yep. Am I still the captain? I mean, yeah. Hey, as long as I have my badge and I have my ID card and my nice suit. Yeah, I mean the the it uses like Internet Explorer 11 for most of the UI because of the engine. So they figured the React, which does support, uh, I think up to Internet Explorer 10, uh, would be a good fit. It's that bad. I think that uh, the Beyond developer was uh, try uh, implementing Ceph like GAF, the Chrome Embedded Framework, and didn't get anywhere. Now, apparently I also need to compile the, the UI now. They, they used to actually ship the compiled files in the repo, which when I tried contributing to the code, I, I missed it at first. So I, I tried making the PR and nothing was happening because, uh, well, I forgot to compile the files. They shouted at me because I'm, I, was, I didn't follow the instructions. But then I did, and everything was fine. So... Why am I missing a lot of files? This is... How bad is it? I swear, I had a working build! Well... Maybe we're skipping the old chemistry then. I mean, I should still have the another build I can use. So if I go here, yeah, the curse of the live demo, very much alive. This one should work, but this one is even older. So something I really like about this game. It's constantly being updated and they change everything all the time. So you, you never really get to the point where you say, I know this game, there's nothing more that it can show me that I haven't seen. There's people who have been playing for like decades and they're still playing new stuff. Uh, I think... Is it not fine yet? Did it, did it crash? So, and something that might have occurred to me right now, I'm using the new version of Beyond with an old build. Um, Beyond has updated a bunch of times since then, and maybe there are some compatibility issues. So, let's pull. And I have to 
take out this file. There we go. So I assume you still use the build thing. I mean, feature freeze, um, it, 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 it's not going to be good for this game to feature freeze. Uh, they have a very, they have a very active code base. They merge stuff all the time. They have a basic policy with features, which is like, uh, don't come asking if you, if you can do something, just do it, make a PR and we'll discuss it there. It's not maybe the best one because, you know, you don't want to work on something and then throw it away because it wasn't what people wanted but I, I think it allows a lot like you know if you think something is bad just just do it it is very chaotic but i think it works with the game you know the game is very chaotic Is it still compiling the UI or what? Oh boy, let me, let me fix something. Okay. So it should be done now. Uh, if I click this. I mean, the, the thing is, the thing about the game is, if everyone did its job properly, nothing would ever happen, and it would be a boring game. People messing up, people being dicks, and everything is what this game is all about. So, as usual, I got the clown music, which is, I think, a bit rare. Uh, let's make my captain the best captain. No, I said I want to be... I don't know why the UI is lagging so much. Okay. You are either AFK or experiencing l lag or the connection is closed. This is my local server. I don't think I have lag. Uh, jump suit, backpack. Wow, everything is in order. I am apparently Amy Roberts, age 30. That's fine. Oh, wait, I have to. I have a keys mode enabled. Yes. I need to set the FPS to something a bit more reasonable than 20 FPS. Oh, you cannot even hear the music. That's for the best. Uh. Never mind, now you can. Welcome to the station crew. Enjoy your stay. Wow, you actually arrived with the... With a pod now? Oh, that's so cool!
Okay, and they did change a bunch of stuff. So we have combat mode now. It makes a sound when you t turn it on. Hey, can you hear? I'm, imp I'm pressing F here. So combat mode is new. Uh, I should be able to like... Uh, I, I, I wanna pet the, the monkey. Come here, monkey. I'll come get you. There you go. Wait. I hugged it. Monkey makes sound now? I can also punch it, right? So if I... Uh, go into combat mode... Yes, I'm punching it now. Well, now I have to kill it because it'll be angry at me. I will hit it with... A guitar! Ow, still, still biting! Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh... I lost my guitar. Uh... I don't wanna actually kill the blue monkey. Well... Wait, we have medibots? Oh, that's Inspector Johnson? Wait, what? Okay. That's, that's pretty cool. We have medibots standard now. Usually you have to ask the roboticists to make them. Hey, I almost killed the monkey. So this is the medical. This is where people go when they uh, are bleeding to death or something. It's probably my most familiar place. Things that I think I've changed a bit here too. Uh, no, I think it's mostly the same. Chemistry has been completely changed, like mechanics wise. So, how chemistry works? You come here, this is pharmacy, it's where you can get chemists to make stuff for you. you. You get into the front desk and you ask them and a chemist will be here where I am and will go, no, I'm not making methamphetamines for you, go away. No, not kid, not really, they will, they will always make it for you. I won't though. And then, if you come down here, this is the chemistry lab. This is where chemists make very complex machines to automate everything. And honestly, if you're gonna be a chemist, you, you wanna automate your job. Because people will come asking you for everything. So, we need beakers. Let's go through what we need to do as chemists. We have beakers. This is my what I have in my hands right now. And we're gonna need a... Wait, I'm still in combat mode. I just tried hitting the, the dispenser with the beaker. Why do I... Why can't I... Oh, yes, I need to use a free hand to interact with the vending machine. So I can get a chemistry bag. I can pay for it, but since I'm the captain, I'm, I have a lot of money. I can put the chemistry back on my belt. See? It's on my side. Can you see it? And the chemistry bag can hold a lot of chemistry. You're hearing the music twice. Oh yeah, that would make sense actually. Uh, let me fix that real quick. There you go. Now we'll hear it only once. So. Uh, I will put the beaker in the chemistry bag. I also want some other stuff, probably. Not from here, though. One thing I can do, I can get this uh, plunger. So the plunger is used for machines if they clog up. But you can also put it on your head. Look, I have a plunger on my head. Usually how it works, you, you throw it at people and it will stick to their face. And it's funny. I like wearing it. See? Uh, I don't think I will need anything else here. 
Uh, oh, oh god, they changed everything, right? Uh, I don't need chemical grenades or anything. I need food, apparently. Uh, because technically this station is meant to be uh, crewed by people, but I don't, I'm the only one here. I need to do everything myself. Oh no, oh no, yeah, yeah seen me. Oh. I cannot open the door. It is trying, though. Uh, so, let's eat some donuts. That's a good way to eat healthy. Oh, also, something fun about donuts. So, in this game, you have a uh, you have uh, emotions and humor. So, you have uh, mood and sanity. So. You, you you do stuff that are, that are good you make you have a good mood so right now I have two good moods because I just ate a bunch of donuts since the shift just started we are in the round only by six minutes uh, if you eat anything that likes like a sweet you do you have basically a breakfast and so you have a bonus to your mood also because donuts are yummy you also get another good mood because you eat you just ate something that's good that's like really sweet nice we also have a pie can i cream pie the monkey i can indeed cream pie the monkey but now the monkey is even angry oh it just yeah it's creamed by the banana cream pie And yeah, there's, there's also cooking. If you want to be a chef, there's a whole bunch of recipes you can learn. There's a book here. It tells you a lot about cooking. You have uh, microwaves. You have a grinder. You have a blender. You have, you know, you have a bunch of hot pockets, which is just some really easy stuff to prepare for people who are gonna come early but if you open this there's also gonna be uh, milk soy milk eggs meat uh, flour sugar you even have your own little ship that you can kill if you need meat but you usually don't want to kill it what you want to do is make it hungry and leave and leave it around the station so people will come lynch you because you, you, you basically added a health hazard to the station. But the jokes aside. Uh, something else that should be done by other people, but it's not currently being done because I'm the only one aboard, is setting up the power for the station. Since we're gonna be here for a while, uh, the station will eventually go run out of power. So we need to set it up. So... I'm gonna throw this right there. I'm gonna put my anti-radiation suit Except... Apparently I don't have the key bound This might be a problem uh, Shift... Q? Oh, it's E? I should have one for uh, cycling items See that 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 noise was not good. Uh, okay, I think the key just just went away. Maybe. Well, okay. So I have to juggle around now. Usually, what you can do is there is a key for picking up your current uh, what you are currently equipped with and swap it with something else but apparently i cannot find that thing anymore i also have sunglasses which are important for reasons security reasons mostly i want to replace them with engineering goggles which let me see even cross walls a bit and of course i want to replace my hard hat with the anti-radiation hood so i need some other tools. Oh, there's echo now, right? No, I don't. I want a mechanical toolbox.
And from the toolbox, I want the French. And I don't care about everything else. So what I need to do right now is power the engine. The engine is this uh, super crystal. And the crystal is very scary. If you throw things at it, they, it will eat it up. So for example, this is the station charter. This is what allows you to rename the station to what you want. It tells you, like this is what tells you, this is my station. So of course, first thing you I'm gonna do is just throw it at the thing. Well, it's gone now, forever. So when we when the super matter is hit by something, it will release energy and heat and gases, and also attract everything that's nearby. So never stay close to the super matter. It's just bad. So what we want to do is hit the super matter with something and then unless the energy releases. So, man, these are nasty sounds. Yeah, it's already producing plasma. It's not, definitely not liking it. So what we wanna do is, uh, first of all, we wanna power these reactors, like, I mean, the co these collectors. They require a special gas called plasma. So we're gonna get a bunch of it. Gonna put everything we can in our bag and we're gonna carry what we cannot it's kind of weird that i can carry something even though my hands are full but it's a space station logic for you we can turn them on they will now harness any radiation and convert into electricity we also need to do this other side Yeko really did a number on this game, by the way. Now it really feels scary to be here. As it should. I heard some... I don't think the, the super matter is doing well right now. So what we need to do is... Uh, we also need a cooling loop. The super matter gets hot when it's hit by stuff. And that's not good. It will explode if it gets too hot and the pressure is too high. Well, actually, it will get it will explode anyway. So we need to cool it down, and to cool it down, we use uh, a cooling loop. So these are canisters which contain uh, N2, which is uh, nitrogen. We're gonna empty them into this loop. We're gonna, so right now there's a bypass here. We're gonna turn off the bypass and let the gas flow through these vents. So these vents go out and these vents pick everything else in. We want the vents to not have a limit on how much gas they have to pump. And we want the scrubbers to get as much as possible. Because the, the the siphons can actually siphon a, only a specific gas. But in this case, we just want to get everything. Then we want to filter out all the bad gases that the uh, supermatter produces. We only want to save the N2. And everything else can, can go to space, basically. So we have filter set up, but we only, we're only using the first one. And everything that, that's not nitrogen gets into space. Also, we need to cool the gas. So how are we gonna cool the gas? Well, I don't think it's actually relevant, but here we have a super grid of like uh, pipes that go into space. Space is very cold, so the heat will go out. It's a bit actually um, different than that, so you cannot actually uh, transfer it to space because it's not like hair to equalize temperature with. So they actually, they're, they're supposed to glow. 
that's actually how uh, the International Space Station does it. They have uh, solar panels for energy, but they also have a very uh, dense grid that's just glowing in lights that we cannot see because it's outside our visible range. And they radiate the heat into space. Well, they, they, they radiate it as light. It's just electromagnetic light that we cannot see. So, so the SM is, ho I hope, a bit better now. Uh, we can actually check the status. There should be like a, a small computer here. And it should tell us how the SM is doing. And the SM is doing pretty fine. The temperature is very cold. It's 340 Kelvin, which is like, uh, I think it's a, like 20 degrees Celsius or something. Well, it's actually a bit more. It's like 40, I think. I forgot to set a filter. I think I saw all of them. Oh, you're right. I forgot to set the filter here. Thank God I'm not running the station, right? And I also have to enable... Actually, I don't have to enable this. Uh, the load is increasing here, though. Is there something else I'm missing? So if I need extra cooling, there is two freezers here. They freeze anything that goes through them. But I should technically be fine like this. So I've been told that actually it doesn't matter if this thing is open or not. Uh, I'm just gonna open it. Maybe it will help with the flow. It seems like that though. So uh, there's nothing hitting the SM. So the SM is not actually generating electricity yet. What we need to do, we have these uh, lasers here. And we need to, and they, they have these um, mirrors and they direct all energy toward the SM. So I can show you right now. I can hit it. Oh, it's instant now. Yes, I was about to, to, back, to get laser to that, but I risked it anyway. So now that the SM is getting hit, I will start making tons of heat and radiation and energy. I should check here, but yeah, the ER. The last pump I opened. It's, it is a bypass, but experience tells, apparently from what I've seen, it doesn't matter. Like Maybe it's a bug that it works this way. But it does work, I've been told. And I have seen it happen. It should work. The temperature is staying pretty flat, even though the energy generation is increasing. So yeah, I think we should be fine. We are indeed making electricity here. All the batteries are loading. So I think we're done. Um, I can dump this. It's it's. It's a really good time if you forget to put your your radiation hood because you get radiation and when you get radiation you start hallucinating. You see things that are not there, you start convulsing, you, you, you fall, you think you are really hurt when you're not. It's a really bad time. Oh no! Oh no! The monkey figured it out! Uh, is there something I can do? I can beat it to that with, the, with an oxygen tank if I want to. Oh, I have a better idea. Where you are? Down here. Oh, it's trying to hit me with a book. Uh, yeah, you know what? Why don't you just hang here? Bye bye. Oh. There we go. It's not gonna bother us now. Hey, can you cure me, please? Oh, I guess it doesn't care. Well, back to what we wanted to do in the first place. We need to do chemistry. So I have a reference here, 
which is linked in the wiki. So if you go to the uh, TG Station wiki, which is where you usually find everything about everything. Uh, so this is the wiki. It has all the information you need. It's already been upgraded, updated for the for Famicom. And there's a link here. If you follow it, you end up to this, which is just a handier way of browsing it. So it used to be that every reaction happened instantly. So if I pick my beaker, I put it into the cam dispenser and I open the cam dispenser. Uh, let's say a very simple reaction is uh, sugar, oxygen and hydrogen. Wait, was it sugar? Oh, sorry. It's, uh, I think it's... Si was it manitol again? Oh, it's hydrogen, water and sugar. Okay. Hydrogen, water and sugar. So it is now reacting and slowly making manitol, which is a something that cures your brain. Uh, it used to be that you just clicked it and at, as soon as you added anything, it just became the product. So now you have to wait and there's uh, acidity. So the pH is the new thing. And they also changed the uh, reaction chamber, which is now called a reaction chamber. It used to be just like a oven. You put it, you put how hot you want your things to be and it will make it hot. But now it's a reaction chamber. You can, um, you have an acidity meter here. I don't know how visible it is. I hope it's enough visible. I can zoom a bit. Um, you have buffers, so you can make, you can like uh, blend it with another text, another solution to make it less acidic or more acidic. And you can also set the temperature. Now the problem is, uh, things react better if they are under a certain uh, pH. They, they like being inside a certain pH, and if they are too much outside that pH, they turn into a random slurry, which is useless. You have to throw it away. Also, uh, reactions are exothermic, and they will, if they uh, are too much heated, they also turn into slurry. So you have to, to keep an eye on things to avoid them becoming... Uh, well, basically, you have, you have to, to keep an eye. You, you used to be that if you needed something a certain temperature, you just set it and you forget it. But you can't do that anymore. You also have to be very mindful. Also, something that's kind of weird, things react outside of these machines. It used to be that there were only like a few places where chemicals react. But now they react all everywhere. Uh, th there was an actual exploit. I don't think if it, it, I don't think it can still be done. But basically, uh, you can make a uh, grenade which had a foam, and the foam had gunpowder, floggy stone, and uh, something else that ignited. So the the idea is, while in the foam, it's it's spreading across the the air. It's gonna enter people's uh, mouths. It's gonna get into their stomachs. And then they're gonna react. And what's it gonna do gunpowder and igniter? They're gonna explode. So people find it find themselves into the foam, they eat it, and then they explode from inside. And it was trippy time. But so let's make a very simple reaction, which I usually do, which is let's make plastic. So plastic is done by doing oil first. So oil is uh, carbon, hydrogen, and sulfuric acid, I think? No, wait. Ah, I forgot all my recipes. Oh, welding fuel. There we go. We are making oil. Then, you... So, plastic is oil, ash. I, I... See? It uses ash, and I'm ash, so I'm the master of this. And sulfuric acid. How do you make uh ash well you can either like burn paper you make ash or you can burn oil <laughs> so let's burn oil 
we get into our reaction chamber we make the temperature really high like around like 500k and we turn it on now it's heating up as soon as it reaches the activation temperature it will start reacting and I think this is a very exothermic reaction oh it doesn't say okay we are making ash and we are now we now have ash so how's the temperature saying? It's still very high. We can, I think we can also cool it down. So let's do that because we want to add oil to it. And if it's still too hot, that oil will also turn into ash. So we cool it down to like 300 Kelvin. Now we're going to add more oil. It's, it's reacting. And we have a mix of ash and oil. Now we add the sulfuric acid and I think we only need to, oh, we need a bit more oil. Uh, that's almost it. I was going to make some plastic. So now we need to eat everything to 374 Kelvin. Uh, we have, there is no pH requisite apparently, so we just need to avoid it from overeating. So, uh, things with the, the oven or reaction chamber, I guess, uh, it will try to never ever overshoot. So, if you set it to like 380 Kelvin, it will get to like 360 really quick. And then it will start slowing down and will take a lot before it gets to actually 380. So before this whole overeating thing... Oh, thank you, Jirachi, for the follow. So before things... Before they added your overeating and pH stuff, you could usually just rank up the temperature to like 999. And it would do quick, do stuff very quickly. You only had to uh, be careful with st stuff like uh, methamphetamines because those explode if you're eating too much. And and two eight and two all I guess, but now everything can overeat and things are exothermic, so you have to be really careful. So what I'm going to do probably is I'm gonna uh, I don't think I I still have done it like once. I tried doing it a bunch of times. I still failed to make plastic. So I'm gonna target uh, three eighty Kelvin, just a bit over three seventy four, and then I'm gonna. Uh, turn off the reaction chamber as soon as it gets there. Because I want the heat to dissipate on its own. I'm on a good pH, so I don't think I need to inject anything. But the pH will increase while reacting. So I might have to yeah, inject some a bit of basic solution. Uh, the pH also uh, changes how fast the reaction happens. So it's also kind of nice to be able to control that. about to start okay that actually went well and made the plastic right away now that we have plastic we can do plastic beakers which are actually much better so we have the plastic we put it into this uh, tech fob oh we're still missing glass though I think I can steal some glass Oh no. You know who has glass? Oh, there are some here. I wonder how much it is. It's too little. Uh oh. Monkey is still angry. Why did I. I have apparently have. Fred. Uh. So, I have to sneak. I have sneaked successfully. Oh, 
sorry, back from. And now I can make extra large beakers. Oh wait, I can just do this. Why is there puke in my medley? So, now I'll show you what happens if you ignore everything about exothermic reactions and try doing like met. Which is a really nice way to die, I guess. So we're gonna search for methamphetamines. It's gonna take a while because this is a really uh, complex reaction. So we're gonna have to do ammonia first. So three parts hydrogen, one part nitrogen. We need ethanol. And we made diethylamine. Now we need oil. So Uh, and then we need uh, equal parts, uh, dithylamine, oil, hydrogen, and sugar. I'm gonna do hydrogen, sugar. And we made ephedrine. We also have a bit of byproducts because I didn't use the exact ratios. So we're just gonna dump that stuff away and destroy it. Also, why am I using still the old beaker? Let me pick one of the new ones and pour everything into it. Okay, now we need uh, equal parts ephedrine, hydrogen, iodine, and phosphorus. So hydrogen is easy. Uh, iodine and phosphorus. And everything seems to be going all right. The temperature is quite low. We need to get to 374. It, I see the reaction actually happens as 272, apparently. It will overheat at 380 and it will actually explode. And the optimal pH range is 65 to 75. Uh, the exothermic nature is tied to purity and it does produce uh, hydrogen. I think so. Gonna increase the the pH, I guess. So right now, where our pH is a bit high, like we can inject some. Oh no, we need the, to decrease it. So we're gonna inject uh, some acidic buffers. You have to actually make them. You start with some, but they're not infinite. And we're gonna. Turn on the oven. And I have to be really careful here. The first time I did it, I died. Okay, it's reacting, it's reacting. It is increasing in temperature, but it's not increasing that much. Race for impact! <laughs> I knew it happened. I had to cool it down. Well, uh, well, I, I, I guess this part is done. We have no oxygen. We have made a, a bridge hull. We are currently deaf. Like not currently, like yeah, completely deaf. We cannot hear everything. Uh, we have lost one arm. As you can see, we have the <laughs> the shirt is fine, but we we I, we don't we we're missing one end. And we're also in a bad mood for some reason. And the moodlet is ah, I was using that limp. Yeah, because losing an arm is not really something to celebrate. Also, the fire locks are closed because well. Open up! 
Can I not open the fire lock? Uh, I bet I need the... Uh, I need the... The other one. I can, oh, I can click this. That's fine. Well, no, it's closing them again because the, the, the whole bridge has, still hasn't been fixed. Uh... Yeah, this is a problem. Oh, there's also no pressure, of course, because the the hole in the station sucked all the oxygen out. Um. Well, if I had someone else, I'd ask them to give me a new arm, but I don't. So how much can I do with just one arm? I mean, we have another station here. We can make the same mistake twice. I mean, I only need one end to do chemistry anyway. Let's kill ourselves properly. Let's make... Uh, N2O. Nitrous Oxide. Nitrous Oxide is super easy. Uh... So all we need is hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Okay, so we need ammonia, which is easy peasy. So it's just this. Then we need... Oh, we actually need two parts of that. So let's make some more. Uh, 30 oxygen. And we also need... Uh, 15 nitrogen. Oh, this is actually going pretty well. Okay, it's very acidic right now. It's actually outside the optimal range, so let's make it... Oh, sorry, it's mo very basic. Let's go the other way. Uh, so we're gonna do 530. I, I didn't know it would eat up that much. Like, it, was, it wasn't eating up much. I just forgot to cool it down. I wasn't actually expecting it to get that hot. I had like 10 degrees of leeway. That went quite well. Nothing exploded. So I have nitrous oxide, apparently. Oh, I was hoping it would explode, actually. I mean, I can make it explode. I just need to eat it a bit more. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I'm dead for dead for sure now. Yep. I can succumb and say some last words. Chemistry is fun. Oh, I didn't even get to say it. I'm a ghost now. I can go around the station. What the, what else do I have? Did they, did they change since my last visit? I, I noticed the um. Science got really pretty. Like, look, they have uh, glass floors. They have a little, little flowery thingy. What is this? This is toxins. This is pretty. The geneticist actually got a very delta y setup now. Which makes sense. I did like the old one though. But now they're probably not gonna get killed as often. Wow! Look! Two mice! They both gnawed into the, the electrical cable and they both died. They're also now fried, basically. <laughs> it's toast! Yes. 
What else is there? So this is toxins. Uh, I don't see the... Where are the... The... Ta the uh, tanks though? Like, okay, so these are the tanks. They have uh, nitrous oxide, plasma, oxygen. Well, there's, there's a lot of stuff now. The tank transfer valves. Where they? Where they? Where did they end up? Aren't they supposed to be there? Is toxins not any more a job to do for points? This is so weird. Oh, maybe they're here? Also, they changed the... the explosion site. So toxins, you make uh, a big bomb and you make it explode because explosions are interesting and people pay you for it in research point. So here you make a really hot gas. You also make a really cool gas. And you prepare two tanks, you put them together, then you throw it using this. This is like a big uh, piston. It sends it to space, to this place. And you make it explode. You can watch it from afar and you will get points for it. The bigger the explosion, the, the more points. Also, the super matter is exploding soon. Uh What the hell? What did I do wrong this time? So yeah, Super Mother is not happy. It is definitely overeating. It's at 2000 degrees Kelvin. Integrity is dropping, so it's gonna soon uh, destabilize completely. Uh, there's a bunch of radiation and anomalies happening. Gravitational anomalies, electrical anomalies. They're messing with everything. Uh, I don't understand. And isn't that a good sound? Uh, well, thank God I'm not an engineer. What's up with Polly? So, if you don't want to do the whole shebangs with the uh, exploding crystal which spews radioactivity and that, you can use solar panels. They're there, you only have to wire them. They don't make as much energy, so they're usually just a backup solution. Also... Whoa! Like Xenopio got really cute! I like this place! So this is where you, uh, you... This is basically slime rancher, kinda. So you have these little slimes. You feed monkeys to them. They eat the monkeys and they mutate. They become different colors. They multiply, they like become more of them. And you can move them around in pens. You have this many pens. Where you can, uh, you know, give it more monkeys. Uh, they, they will start talking to you, but they have their own language. Maybe you can tell them to follow you, to attack someone, or you can just say hi and they'll say, Oh, you're my friend, in their own language. And every color is special, you can crossbreed them to obtain effects. And yeah, it's... when I'm saying this game has depth, this game is really has a lot of systems that you can play with. And also, here is where you freeze them to death so you can extract their essence and use them for your own purposes. 
Also, it's completely isolated from the rest of the, of the station because you're technically dealing with, you know, xenobiology. So this is the Nanite Control Hub. So this is now as its own room. It's pretty neat. Polly is saying, check the crystal, you chuckle fox. Oh god, it's about to delaminate, call the shuttle. I mean, the thing is, Polly is actually right for once. Oh look, a gravitational anomaly. It's dragging stuff around. So yeah, this is pretty soon gonna, gonna completely explode and pulverize the place. The wisdom cow is happening in 10 seconds. Oh, this is yet another way of making energy. Uh, if you have a really active uh, atmosphere department, you can burn gas for fuel. Also, there's the experimenter. I see as basically completely irrelevant. So this is botany. This is where you can cultivate plants. And right now it's been overturned, but like overtaken by uh, parasites. So we have mushrooms. We have the tower caps. We have nettles. We have star turtles. Well, reishi. Oh, you can also cultivate this. They, they, this ones. Uh, the nettles, they can become quite the weapon. But usually you should not have these and you should have actual plants for food. What else? What is this? Why do we have a, com a subspace department now? Circuit storage is the same. They still haven't fixed this problem. This is an actual issue. Uh, these boards are actually very, very dangerous. It should never go into the wrong hands. And literally, it's two walls away from being stolen by a complete nobody. And this place doesn't have, like, cameras, so you cannot even know that someone came in and stole it. Oh, there is a camera here. Is this the wisdom, wisdom cow? Where's the wisdom cow? I want to hear the wisdom cow. Probably not gonna live for long. Uh, let's check. I don't see it. Mopfiser B. Swipski? <laughs> Pretty neat. Grab the D. This is Megafauna. Yeah, I don't see the wisdom cow, sadly. It, it's a cow that tells you random quotes. And it usually just teleports around the station. Oh, there it is. Wisdom cow. Say something to me, wisdom cow. We're about to die. Nothing. Does he need someone nearby? Let's go see the crystal. So the crystal is dying in 30 seconds. I mean, I'm a, I'm a ghost, so technically I should be hearing everything that everyone says. So if the cow says something, I should still see it. But it doesn't say nothing, apparently. And this is about to dis be destroyed. And it's gone! Wow, they still keep firing. Okay, they, they, they broke down. Because the... Wait, how, why are they still firing? Do they still receive energy? Oh, I see what happens. Probably it didn't, it didn't have like a big pressure, so it didn't... Um, create a big enough explosion to destroy them as well. So yeah, uh, when the super matter uh, explodes, it, it asks, uh, yeah, sorry, it gives hallucination to everyone. 
Unless they hide in a locker. Indiana Jones style. So if I were alive, I would be seeing stuff where it's not. Um, uh, if you use anything, like if you use the chemical dispenser, it will start saying like life and death to random elements. It will shuffle them around a bit. If I use the uh, medical kiosk, which tells you how much life you have, like what's, what's your damage, what kind of damage you have, it will start saying random numbers. To, if, to your disease panel, we'll start saying like, what is life, what is death, random phrases. The cow is still pretty quiet. Uh, also, you can play Mafia if there are other people. I'm alone. So yeah, I might just respawn, like make a new, like force the server to restart. Since I kind of do want to make some more. Yeah, there we go. APC destroyed. Mission accomplished. I also just switch to something else. I, I thought it was more. It would be more chaotic than it is. I remember the first time I tried. It was very weird. But it seems if you if you take things slow, it's not actually that bad. So let me set my occupation to. Uh, do I want to be? I probably want to be CMO. Why is it lagging so much? There we go. Oh, this is not a nice logo. So, so, what's something else that could be fun to make? Colorful reagent, maybe? Colorful is fun. Yeah, let's let's make the colorful reagent. We need to make a smoke grenade with the colorful reagents, and the colorful reagents is you put it in smoke. Everything it touches becomes a random color. But it does require some help from the bar, which I don't have access to because I'm going to spawn as the chief medical uh, officer. But something cool about the bar, you only need to climb a table. really not gonna work oh it auto restarted again maybe I need to give it a bit more time Definitely doing something. Uh, I should have my. Why can I not see the dream demon? Oh, this is weird.
I might have to restart the server actually. I don't think it took that very well. Wait, what? Nope. Uh, so let's reload it. Welcome to the station crew. Enjoy your stay. Well, I did not come up with a odd this time. So, I am the CMO, and I'm just not gonna care about the electricity. I'll, I'll let it run out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explode by then anyway. So, first of all. Uh, let's get us some of that plastic. So we're gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna make a bunch of oil. And while it's reacting, we're gonna make uh, another bunch of oil. And we're gonna turn it into ash. Which I think was 500 or something. Attention. Okay, turning into ash. I'm gonna cool it down, but not too much. I'm gonna drop the ash into the tray that had the oil, and I'm going to add sulfuric acid. And I'm gonna go back here, turn the eating up again, and it has made plastic. Uh, oh, right. There you go. I'm gonna put the plastic here. I need glass, which I at this point I don't think I actually have. Do I need to admin my way to this? So usually you should have um, miners that go mine for you. Well, mine for the station. I don't know if virology has glass for some reason. I don't know why they would have it, but they have a lot of stuff they don't need. I can also like these tables are made of glass. 
technically speaking. So there should be no reason why I can just take the glass from there. Well, I see one big problem actually. Oh, I can bury this. I have a wrench. So I'm gonna go combat mode. Wait, combat mode now does this? How do you disassemble a table? Oh, that is very handy. So the way it used to be, if you click on a table, you place the wrench on the table because that's what tables are for. However, to disassemble tables, you have to like go into uh, the old uh, combat in mode and try to eat the table with the wrench and then it will start disassembling, disassembling it. But it, it was kind of weird reasoning like that, like that, like you, you have to try to dis hit the table like it's an enemy to dis disassemble it. So now you just right click it. People are really not liking this change by the way. Okay. I think I have enough glass now. I have five glass. Uh, of course, since this is virology, everything is super kept tight. Double doors, uh, sterile masks and everything. You don't want an outbreak. And usually the virology might want an outbreak actually. So let's search for beakers. Let's make as many as we can. Apparently four is the number. I, I will spat you with just one. And now let's go to the bar. Because to make colorful reagent, we need uh, triple cereals, citrus. What's triple citrus? It's uh, orange juice, lemon juice, and lime juice, if I remember correctly. Yes. So we take our beakers to this one. No, this one has the alcohol. This one has the, the soft drinks. So we add uh, oranges, lime juice, and lemon juice. Did I get it wrong? It should be this. Unless they change it. Change it again. Uh, oh, it's because it's lemon lime. It has to be lime juice. There we go. Citrus is being made. We have 120 triple citrus. We're gonna climb the table again. We're gonna go on the other side, pick up our thing again. Because climbing into tables makes you drop whatever you're you holding. Because you're climbing. Makes sense. So we're gonna... Uh, Drop some of the triple sweaters here. Uh, we're gonna make the rest of the solution. Wait. It's click. So we need to do cryoxadon, space drugs, and the rest is pretty basic stuff. So let's do cryoxadon. Actually, we do have already cryoxadon. So cryoxadon is used for. Uh, Cooling bodies, so these are uh, cryogenic cells. If someone is about to die or is very injured and you don't want to uh, stay and patch their bodies up manually, you can just put them here, give them some cryoxadone, and they will heal up very quickly. I mean, not quickly, but they will heal up. Unattended, that's the word I wanted. But we're not healing anyone, so let's just use the cryoxadone for ourselves. Let's take this. Let's add like 10, 20 of them. So we have both. Uh, we need space drugs. So space drug is simple and it's trippy. So it's lithium, mercury, sugar. And lithium, mercury, sugar. And what do you think happens if you drink space drugs? I mean, you could see it coming. 
it should be fine. As long as I don't overdose, it's fine. It's just a bit trippy. So we add it to the mix. We put the rest here. And we need... Actually... I'm moaning and twitching violently. Now that's what I get. Uh, I need radium and stable plasma. So, radium, stable plasma. We are making a bunch of stuff actually. We made a lot of quantum air die. I didn't want to make the quantum air die. Oh, this sucks. Well, I made a bunch of uh, colorful reagent, which is cool. We can take the quantum air die outside. And if I remember correctly, what the quantum hair dye works is you splash it on someone and it changes the color. So we can make uh, two bottles of it. And if I pick a spray bottle, there should be one here. Not this one. Uh, is it not here? Oh, it's here. There we go. Pick it up. We have to empty it. Empty it. Like, right now it has like soap. Which is handy for cleaning up, you know, puke and blood, but... It's not what we want. So we're gonna empty these bottles in the spray can. And now, we should be able to spray ourselves. And we can change color. Or you can spray other people and make them mad. Uh, but we also have colorful reagent. So this is the cool part. I still want to make some more of that or more of it. Because the more we have, the better. It's more fun. So I still have some triple citrus, I should still have some cryoxanon, and I should definitely have still some space drugs. I just need to add a bit of radium. It's making like equal one and equal the other, I don't know why. Might be the temperature. I think 74 units of colorful reagent is probably fine. So we're gonna make... Uh, gonna actually, you know what? Let's use one other beaker. We're gonna put all the colorful reagent into one of the beakers. And what we want now... Um, so we wanna make a grenade, but grenades, they just splash a bit and they just eject everything that's inside them. What we wanna do is we wanna make a smoke grenade. So we need to make smoke. Smoke is made by make, reacting uh, three things together. It's um, phosphorus, potassium, and sugar. And the way it works is, like, if I make, if I take a beaker, like, uh, do I have a beaker handy? Yeah, I have this one. If I just use uh, phosphorus, potassium, sugar, it will make smoke right now. So what you need to do, a grenade is made by two beakers, you put them together, like when you throw the grenade, the two beakers merge and the reaction happens. So you want to have uh, one beaker with just one of the three elements and the other beaker with the other two. So when the grenade goes off, the smoke is made. So we have the colorful reagent here. And we're gonna add like 30 of, uh, what's it again? Potassium sugar, phosphorus? Let's add phosphorus. Okay, then on the other beaker, let's do this one. Let's add the 
radium and let's add the what was the other one did i close the, the handbook stable plasma there it is Okay, we have made 30 units. That's gonna be more than enough. Let's destroy everything else. And now here we're gonna put... Um, we put phosphorus in the other, so we're gonna put potassium and sugar. So we're gonna do 30 potassium. 30 sugar and so we have our payload so we just need to make the grenade so we're gonna we we have some of them already here so we need the screwdriver we need this kind of box we we actually need first to add wire to the box then we need to put the payloads in and then we screwdriver it close. Screw it close. Now I can go anywhere. Let's go. Uh, where can I go? Company's here. Uh, let's make company angry again. Gonna throw the grenade. gonna be a bit blinding and as you can see every time I go into the smoke I could change color and everything is colorful now So I don't think they added new reactions. I think they added mostly the buffers for the pH. But so far everything has been quite controlled. I mean, I, I exploded with Matt, but I exploded with Matt even before this whole exothermic reaction thing happened. I don't think there's much more I want to go in detail. Uh, they did remove the extra... Oh, so, oh, so there's more bottles. I see there's a acidic buffer. And there's a P... Okay, a booklet for the H. Hey, how do I select something that I want? What does this do? Oh, the booklet? Do I just drop it into a container? How do you use this? It's a booklet containing paper soaked in a universal indicator. I have no idea how to use this. I'm trying to click the speaker but nothing's happening. I have no idea what that does. So nothing else really has ch changed. They 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 are making new uh, pull requests for a better UI. So I'm using this tool right now, but this will soon be kind of obsolete because there's a new UI coming up where they actually it's like it's actually tied to the game they they know what you're doing like you can say i want to make this formula and it will actually auto like check box so like oh you have phosphorus already that's fine and will give you like nice graphics on how good the yield is depending on the ph and everything because you can actually lose uh reagents due to reaction quality if your pH is too far off the scale, uh, you will actually lose uh, yield. So same material will give you less product. 
It's actually really nice, not well, really well made. Is there anything fun I can do? What's a what's a good way to die? I know one. Let's put the hat on. Nice. Wait, what? No, I wanna set it on my mouth. Oh, Yeah! I killed myself with the Russian revolver. I, I swear, there was one game where I, I went to the bar, I wanted to die, I clicked the revolver for like five minutes straight and it always didn't go. Like, I felt like someone tricked me and uh, took out the only bullet. Because I, I, I couldn't kill myself. I tried for so long and then just gave up. And now, I just died like right away. So maybe the game is telling me something. What's this? Why is there a couch outside the station? Really do be weird. Well, I think I'm done for now. I'll... I mean, I'm, I'm done with this. Let me open up a game for now. You know, close it down a bit. I'll have to do some housekeeping. I, I guess I can go into this one now. Oh, the music! I forgot it! Oh, the chat didn't clear itself. It's working now. Too bad the colors are too light. So I need to change the... Yeah, uh, so I, I basically had to tell the the browser thing to not go out when you when I change the scene but it stays loaded <laughs> oh you've been shut up for a while okay let's change the category for now And let's make a quick run with Eden. I'm not gonna go too much into these also. I'm just gonna go make maybe one to run, then close it down. And it's a chill stream. I heard he's explained too much. But it's a nice game. And it's actually on sale for a while. That's it. Oh. Yeah! It works. I think I do have streaming stuff. Uh, I can enable chat notifications. Will it work? I think it has worked. Uh, I'm not gonna do reward worthy. I mean, I can do it. I just I wanna wanna be a bit quick. So I like this character a lot. He, he kills everything. I'm almost done with the. These are all like difficulty settings. If you wanna. An extra challenge, you can enable them. I uh, like every time you do like a new one, the next one up uh, unlocks, and I'm almost done with all the all of them. But the two uh, last ones are like the most difficult ones, and they're pretty hard. I'm up to 13 right now.
And if you ever play like Mega Man Battle Network, the, the combat is the same. It's like grid based action game. You get cards from a deck that you build while you play. It's kind of like a uh, play the spire. So I won the battle, so I get to add the cards to my deck. And they all suck. Oh, also, um, you're just trolling, Dark. This is even worse. <laughs> what are you talking about? Fade is actually pretty cool. Uh, you get an achievement if you kill an enemy with Fade. Like, that's, that's how hard it is to use. Yes, you are. Flurry is bad. Also, uh, if you don't like the, the RNG, like I do, um, you can set focuses. So, oh, you cannot see the deck because chat is in the way. But yeah, I can say I want my drops to be more of this category and it will skew the, the randomness a bit. So you get a bit more like what you might want. And usually I go for this setup. So double lift gives me cards that deal with other cards. Like it gives me cards that uh, give me power depending on how many cards I have. And convergence is all about uh, getting extra money or getting extra power. These are all bad. Now this one, uh, maybe. Yeah, Mana, Mana Region is the good one. Three is the meme one. Uh, I'm gonna skip the shop this time, because I don't think I'm gonna have enough money. Ow. And I'm getting beaten up. Uh, again, they all suck. <laughs> I mean, I guess Mini Thunder was okay. Uh, well, as soon as I get good, I will do actually... Uh, I, I can actually do runs where I pick your cards, but... I'm still pretty big B. I'm still small. Like, I, I don't play well. is fun. Do I want to go? Yeah, let's do it. This... Oh. No, Mana, Mana Regen is the worst one here. Scales is good. I need, I need the shield. Knife belt it might be good. It depends on what drops I get after. I think I'll go scales because uh, I, I think I'm gonna die pretty soon. Oh no, not the... this I'm gonna get money thank you very much well now I think two is the is, is the easy pick one is also fancy but one doesn't do much a lot for me right now it just allows me to pick very powerful spells Oh yeah, I will do that actually. There we go. I'll go max mana. I'm gonna fish for calamities.
I mean, this is free. Amber is nice. Pirate gun is just. I'm not. I'm not convinced this is the right call. You guys really like that car, don't you? Fine. Oh! I have to save the good Austin's. Oh, damn it. Uh, actually, now that I have hired gun, switch mate might be a good play. How much? Is... Not fully convinced. I might go big things just because it's fun, but man, this is this is a hard call. I'm gonna go mana potion. So this is an easy boss. Never mind. This is usually an easy boss. Right, the bosses are all maxed here this time. Okay, this this would be a usual uh, an easy boss if it wasn't maxed here. Can I fish for better stuff? Hey, it's usually easy. I I forgot this is Alpha thirteen. What do I get this time? I got a good card. I think I'm gonna go double convergence and hope for spell power buffs. Do I risk the artifacts? Or do I want... I do want to level up right now. Oh, come on. That's fine. Just don't kill my hostage. Nope. All junk. Hmm. This one is pretty nice. Hey, I can pet the dragon. Look. Wait, can I not pet the dragon? Oh, is, is it only Saffron that can do that? Oh, that's sad. I want to pet the dragon. Okay, I can do it. There we go. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't like it. Okay, the flame dragon is actually pretty, pretty strong. Switch, babe? Nah. Huh. I just get the mana potion. This might be a nice meme. But this is safe. Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. Again? Cool stuff's pretty good though. If I pick this one, I won't see it for a while. That's the only good thing about it. Done. Thank you. 
Cold Snap will, will be amazing in Vomit if I get Anima. I will take his pad. Actually, no, I have consume. Uh, I have the double consume. Oh. Almost got me. Wait, my dragon got stuck. Get me. Okay. Should be fine. Oh, he got me. Ah, oh, it's still gonna die. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna spare. I don't think I can allow myself to continue the run like this. I'm gonna go Reva. No, it's Terra. Oh, just need not to suck like last time. I like this deck right already. I am not making as much fun as I would like to. Is this how we, we, we're gonna do that? You already know it! It's happening, boys! I would just try to remind you, I have won like one run with this. It has never worked, except the ones. Okay, that's good. Oh, that, that's good though. Never mind. We, we we committed. I did win one. Yeah, and yes, you did miss it. It was glorious. Mostly because I I could make an obscene amount of shield. Oh no! It's all bad. Oh man! Now I, now I regret not going poison. But yeah, it do be like, yeah, I mean. Okay, power of that is gone. Is the dragon still alive? Look at it! It's also getting a lot of life. Oh! I, I I just dip drop this really <laughs> on mana fire. I I I mean if I lose with this, <laughs> biggest luck in the universe award. Oh and I dropped this too, man. So. What else do I can I get? Uh, Survival kit isn't that great. I do wanna get this for Terra though. I'm a bit low. And I do need to remove at least this. I think I also want the max upgrade. Last or mad? I'll take the med. I don't want to die with this. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Can I get... Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to... Did I already kill the ostage? 
Oh, that was quick. No, the, the other one died too. Oh, damn it. I didn't see that. I literally got it by everything. Oh man, I, I gotta take this. The Counter Strike is also good. Yeah. I mean... This is kinda decent with the dragon, but I don't know how long the dragon is gonna last. So... Maybe not. I'll take the mad kit again. Okay, let's go, Sarah. I hate it. I hate it so much. This boss fight is actually hard. No. Ah! Ah! Oh, this is actually hard. No. Ow. Ow. Yeah. I think that that's gonna be my problem now. Okay, let's try good old Saffron. I'll give it one more try and then I'll give up. I forgot that the loadout is terrible. How? How do I get? Uh, kunai saffron? I can go for it. I do want to have a double lift one though. Oh, uh, I think I'll go with this. Hey, we can do double artifact. Damn it. This is so slow. First artifact? How oh, it moves. How oh, is saffron? Come on. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't pick a skin. Ah, I forgot. Do I have anything that I care for? Come on and slam. I'm gonna pick it. Even though I have no good mana region. Come on, come on! No! Ow! That hurt. I mean. I mean. Yeah, go away. Yeah, that's fair. And deck shield, deck shield with fire virus spell. Uh oh. I really didn't want a mini boss right now. Let's get all the gold again. That one's dead. Yeah. 
she's so slow. It's free shield. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I like all of them. Yeah, choose for me. If you're gonna choose skip, I swear to God. Yeah, fair. Wait, what? She does that now? Damn it. Okay. And the thing behind that also a pain in the ass. Oh, god damn it. I don't think I'm gonna win this. Ow. Yeah. Oh right, I have to. I forgot I'm playing Saffron. <laughs> I have to revive. Not. Ha. Ah, I wasted most of it. That sucks. Oh, and a... Yes! What a fair fight. I also got poison. Now you need to die. Suck. Why am picking stuff? I'm on virus spell. I think I'm gonna have to to rest to the go to the west side. I don't get really a choice here. Oh no! It did it. I have two already now. Okay, so I'm dead. Yeah, but I'm dead. I'm not even gonna give it the honor. Okay, super last one. I'm, I'm not giving up. Oh, to a random enemy. Oh, that sucks. Will you ever come up? Yeah. Fish for it. This is good. Oh, come on. Three 
Inferno minus one. Do I have any reason not to pick this? I don't think so. Yeah, that's good. Do you have anything on shuffle? I don't. I'll take shields up. I am against there again. Please come up. Oh. Yeah, yeah. These are all bad. I mean... 20 poison isn't that much, right? It's like 40 damage. I might try for that one. Oh, I actually did it. give you much of time to talk. Reva, given how strong she was last time. Uh, not you! That went well. I'm, I still wanna try to fish for focus, because it's so good. Oh, thank you! Thank you for, for coming and Saying and commenting and chatting that much. Have a nice weekend. I have no comments for this one. This one is just good, but I cannot pick it. Ouchie, ouch. If only it came a bit sooner. What is this? I'm just, huh? I don't think I need it. Of course I want the cool artifact. Ah, she got me! She got me! She got me really well. Oh well. I'll take the luck. I'll take the max mana. I don't want to be fragile right now. Wait, no shock? Did I, did I avoid it on purpose or what? Well, I certainly did not avoid it on purpose. Oh! Do I go for it? 
Nope. Interesting. Is full defense worth it? I mean, I'm, I'm at my, minus five. I might just, might just go for it. Yeah, that's if I school, huh? Uh, apparently there is no shop on this world. Oh hell yeah! That was cool. Oh really? Really? I cannot say no to this. Oh and it's Azel too. Oh, I'm so sorry for her. Yeah, she's not gonna live for long. I have to, to stay... I, I have to actually worry about Eternity Cannon killing people. Uh, I think I'm ready forever. Aww. I got it again. Do I care about that one? Uh, not really, but the flame is pretty nice. We have artifacts in the shop together. It's pretty good. Uh, not this kind of enemy. I mean, you wanna come here? Good. You know, I think Iron Cannon is actually doing a good job. I don't think I want anything for that. And now this comes? Come on! I don't want the demo phase though. Oh cool! That's too slow. Come on. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. No, this is not good. Give me focus. Yeah. Actually good. Um I literally have nothing to cost zero. I don't want this. I do want this. Are you kidding? I'll take this. Do I take the kunai? It's 126. I don't think I do. Well, I feel dumb now. I'll take one of these and remove it. I do like this one. 
free healing. And this is also healing. Yeah? Oh, I cannot... Seriously, now I don't have the money? How much do I need to... Oh, this is bad. I didn't mean to do that that, that much. Can I double cast this? Too fragile though. Yeah, fine. I have committed a huge mistake. Wait, I didn't take the swords away? Oh no, this is gonna kill me. Such a good card, though. I messed it up, as you as always. Oh well. Oh, the music is back at least. So, what did we learn today? Chemistry is dangerous. Don't make math, and don't don't spend all your life for for bit of money. And these streamers are getting a bit more philosophical than I want, you know? Also, don't die. I guess that's a good advice. Um, and honestly, I think I'm done for today. I can go relax after the chill stream. I mean, it's been chill. Now I, I also have the... the, the a little voice in my head that tells me to go back to space station more. But it was fun. Thank you for for, for staying and coming by. And you know, spending a few hours together. I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. Be you on the weekend and plan the new schedule for, for next week's. I don't think I'm gonna upload anything to YouTube for about it. But if only I had a good run though. Man. So, sneak peek for next week. I have not decided yet what I'm gonna do on the creative stream. It's not gonna be a tutorial though. I, I actually wanna, you know, also draw stuff. I might try some fan art maybe. I don't know. I want to go back. I want to get back into drawing. And also, Monday, I wanted to play more of the demos from the Steam thingy, but all the ones I wanted to try, they, they withdrew the demo as soon as the game festival ended. Just sad. Uh, I will finish Alecon, because I, I want to finish that game. <laughs> and also, there's a game that I've been told is really good and chill. So, you know, fits the channel. It's called um, A Short Hike. I always wanted to try it. The, the aesthetic is really good. There's a GDC talk about it, which I haven't watched because I don't want to spoil the game. And yeah, I'm going to play that one. And for Friday, no plans, because it's fun. More fun if I don't have plans for the chill stream, you know? But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So, thank you for coming. Have a nice weekend. And see ya. Oh, the music stopped here too? Oh, that one too. Oh, not this one again. Thank you, Ayabut. Have a nice weekend too.